as we all know that Keycloak is an identity and access management tool that helps in authentication and authorization process. So since this is a tool and can be used by more than one framework like Quarkus or Spring framework or some other framework, this has to provide supporting libraries to those specific frameworks so that Keycloak can be used in those frameworks. Now, for example, since Spring Boot has Spring Security in it, it says it's not going to provide any library to support any third party tools. Let the third party tools provide the supporting libraries to be incorporated within the Spring Boot application. Then Keycloak says, OK, that is fine. And I'm going to provide filters and adapters so that Keycloak can be used within the Spring Boot application. Since this is the Spring Boot application, Keycloak provides some of the libraries. For example, Keycloak Spring Boot Starter Library and Keycloak Server Filter Adapter Library. Using these libraries, Keycloak can be added to be used in the Spring Boot framework. But since there are several frameworks, if Keycloak decides to provide the libraries for every framework, then it will be a tedious work for Keycloak as well. Spring Community brought in OAuth2 resource library that supports OIDC. OIDC is OpenID Connect. Now, since OIDC is a standard and Keycloak decides that, all right, I'm going to build the libraries or the top of this OIDC and whichever framework uses the OIDC can also use the libraries provided by the Keycloak. And this removes the overhead of creating the libraries to every other framework. So what Keycloak did, Keycloak bought in Keycloak core and Keycloak Policy Enforcer. And these libraries will have the support to the OIDC format. And since these are OIDC compliant, any other framework, for example, Quarkus, can also use these libraries to incorporate Keycloak tool within the Quarkus application as well. And this was done by Keycloak in version 22. So from version 22, we will have these support and hence the earlier libraries are deprecated now and plan to be removed. As you can see here, earlier we used these two libraries and everything we did was using these two libraries themselves. Now that those are deprecated, I have just commented them out and I'm using the policy enforcer and the Keycloak core library. So let's build this and start the application. Application is started. Let's reload this and we'll test on the item price increase. And since this API is accessible to owner, and as we know, Amar is the owner, let's try it out on Amar. Amar, authorize. Try it out. Item ID is two. And so the new library works using the same set of code. We do not need to make change in any part of the code what we have implemented till now. And just because we have added the user policy provider and the configuration is this we also need to add the path for other APIs to be enforced. And that's it. So let's test the negative case. For example, Suresh. Suresh authorize. And so Suresh doesn't have the access. In a sense, even after making the changes in the libraries, without making change in any of the code, the application still works as is. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.